Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are going to replay Repetition now that it's been fixed. This is Repetition by DJL, and I think it is kind of funny that it's called Repetition and we are repeating playing it. But, uh, yeah, the description says I started with a simple concept, but it ended up getting quite complex, made with the built-in puzzle editor, and there's a solution video. Uh, I broke it pretty, pretty badly the first time, and I think Noct did as well, but it has been updated. So, let's go check it out and see what all has been changed. I think this is mostly the same. Yeah, in order to get this out of here, we have to do some shenanigans. And I don't remember what all that was all about. But, uh, yeah. Not too much a fan of the whole tunnel thing. I used to do it with my early maps, and now I realize it's not a good idea. Okay, so this has been moved so that the portal surface no longer goes with the pla- oh. <laughs> yeah, that's- that happens sometimes. So that- that's the, um... I think that's anti-trapping, actually. Anyway, so... We can't actually get... the companion cube out just yet, as far as I'm aware. I mean, I could probably make a weird... Could probably make a weird- oops. Could probably make a weird jump over into this portal if I really wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that. So, what could we do instead? Hmm. Does this other portal surface line up with the companion cube? Why, oh, yes it does. In that case, let's just pull it out. Here we go. We've got that now. What all is this then? Right, we need the laser for this. Okay. And that requires that, and... something else. A slash, right? Yeah, whatever. Let's put that there for now. That is where the exit is, I believe. That doesn't activate unless we have that button pressed. And that... that's basically just, uh, once you press that, you don't have to have it pressed anymore, so that's nice. And then over here we have this whole area, which it looks pretty different. Was that laser behind the glass before? I don't actually remember. I think we might actually have to use the light bridges this time, which will be nice. Wait, what did that do? So I- I have a question again. Uh, what is the point of having a button that you walk straight from the entrance to the button, and then you press it, and then it's permanent? Because you might as well have just had it... that way from the beginning of the map, rather than forcing the player to press it. I'm- I'm a little bit confused about what the purpose of that is, to be honest. So let's see, this fizzler gets turned off by that button. We can't do that right now, though. Am I missing something? It's not that. Definitely feel like I am missing something. We can go up here, but it's not gonna do us any good. Yeah, that just resets everything. Gets us back in here. Oh, this is what this did. Right, I forgot about this. Okay, so... Uh... Do this... And then we'll do... Wait, how will be the best way to do this? Because... Hmm. How would be the best way to do this? Because I need this area... for... launching. Right? I need, I need to pull the cube here, but also keep a portal inside, but I'm not sure what to do after that, is the thing. So, like, I get this cube, right? And then... I can't really easily... funnel it onto this button up here to turn off this fizzler long enough... while still keeping a portal in there. I feel like I'm missing something. Huh. Well, for now let's just do this. I guess. I don't really have much of an option in the way things. Yep, that does that. But I can't even... 
can't even get over here fast enough to shoot that, is the issue. Where do I get another cube from? Like, there's this laser cube up there. And then there's this cube over here, but I can't even get here. I can't even do anything in here until I get over there. Which is the problem. And there's no way I'm gonna launch myself, hit the button, and shoot the portal while at the, the fizzler flickers. That's not gonna happen. Hmm. And there's not much I can do with myself when the funnel is forward. I can't, you can't even press sideways buttons with with yourself with the funnel. You have to like you have to like she. You have to actually launch yourself into them. You can't just funnel yourself onto them. Yeah, see, it doesn't doesn't work. Hmm. Like, that's the only thing that I can do from here, right? I shoot that portal surface? Yeah, but then I don't have a good way to actually get in there. I guess I have to leave this cube here, right? And then when I get in there, I can't really do anything. Yeah, that doesn't get me across at all. That that is not helpful in the slightest. Hmm. Oh, but I actually know what I need to do now. Okay, so we have to put this in the funnel. I'm pretty sure this cube auto respawns. Because if it doesn't, then I'm gonna be screwed. There we go. Uh, stand on the butt, please. Do that. And then we take this cube and we fizzle it. I said we fizzle it. And that should respawn in there. Yes! There we go. Okay, so. Now we just need to do some portal management. Pretty straightforward. Walk through here. Walk through here. There we go. Now things are making sense. That's actually a good puzzle. Wow! <laughs> I always like it when I bounce off of buttons like that, crazy angles. It's always a lot of fun. Alright, so let's see what this does. Oh! 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 Yep. That's a light bridge. That's- that's certainly for sure. Okay, now do I- what do I actually want to do now, though? I feel like I want to do that first, right? Oh yeah, the issue's gonna be getting back, though. Well, at least I can do that first. Come on. There we go. Oh, you want me to jump on this after I just... carefully angled it? No, come on. Is there a way I can jump on it from this? We'll- we'll see in a moment here. Aha! Yes! Somehow that works. Right, but that's- okay. So we'll have to come back here, we'll have to do everything again... ...after we spawn this other cube, but it'll probably be a bit easier. At least I would hope it would be a bit easier. So let's go see what this does now. It should turn off the fizzler. Right? Wait, what's- where's Slash? Hold on a sec. I need to figure out what Slash is. No, that's not Slash. Uh hmm. Was it this? Oh crap, it's that! How am I supposed to do that? How am I supposed to do that? Oh right, I need to spawn it first. Okay, Control Z, let's go back to here. We were here before. Yeah, I need to actually spawn it first, so might as well do this. And then we can walk over there. And... Wait... What was the other requirement to spawn it? Dot. What? I have to hit both? How am I supposed to hit both? You want me to hit dot... and... slash? Well, hold on a sec, that slash... That's dot. That's like literally impossible.
Oh. We have to do a cube swap. Oh my gosh. We have to get a cube up here. Okay. Hold on a sec. The only cube we have is that one, so... Oh man. Alright, so... Um... Can't really do anything in here just yet, so let's- let's do this whole process all over again, I suppose. Do that, and this. There we go. And then... We should be able to take the cube with us, I believe. Yeah, because the fizzler's off now. Alright, so. Save. And continue. Yeah, I don't want to block the laser. Alright, so. Now we've got this up here. Put that there. And... Did that do it? Uh, it's unclear. I might have done it. I'm gonna save here. Just in case. And... We'll go see what we did. I thought I would've been able to hear the fizzler. I mean, the cube fizzling. Okay, we did do it. Excellent. So, let's go back. Control Z. Rewind. I don't need my portals anyway. And then we'll- we'll take this off of here. We can put this back to the way it was. Oh wait, maybe we had to leave it. Hmm. Well, I can take that off at the very least. And just do this. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's what we'll go with. Wait, no, the other thing is the other signage is just for this light bridge. Okay, so. Yeah, never mind. We can put this cube back to the way it was. And I don't actually know how to get it out of here, but we'll leave it right there for now. Okay, we'll just leave it here, like this. There we go. Let's walk over there and- oh, right, I needed to get it out! Oh my gosh. I'm being dumb. Alright. Try this again- oh, come on. Right. Okay. Run over here. We need to take it out. Through the fizzler. There we go. We've taken it out successfully. I think that warrants saving. And I'll just put it here for now. That's a good safe place to put it. <coughs> hmm. So. Then... That's Tildy, right? Actually, we could just do this right now. We can save ourselves some trouble. Come on now, I didn't tell you to get off the button. Alright, so now that's permanently pressed. We can just put this back on this button forever, basically. Until we need it again, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. So that gets us up here. And now we should be able to take stuff out from here. Yeah, let's put this cube... Let's put this cube nearby. And we'll take this one out. And fizzle it. Actually, do that. And that. And that. 
Here we go. Not sure what the second funnel is for just yet, but we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. I don't remember. Now we can take the laser cube out. Excellent. That means we're pretty much done with that area, I think. Yeah, because we're also done with that area. Hmm. So I guess now... Oh, come on. There we go. I guess now it's just a matter of us throwing this into the funnel, and then leaving, right? I guess we could use this funnel now, since we can take the Edgeless Hate to keep with us in this event. There we go. Let's see if it'll set here. It will! Amazing! Alright. I said... Alright. Oh wait, what turns that off? Uh, hmm. Triangle. Where's triangle, though? Um... It's not quite what I wanted to do. There we go. Where's triangle? Oh, that's triangle! Okay, alright. So we can't take the edgeless safety cube with us. In that case. Gotcha. So this guy needs to fizzle. Yep, there we go. And then... This guy is the one who needs to go over here. Gotcha. There we go. So let's see here. I think Nock- I remember Nock having a comment about not seeing portal services down here or something. And now it's really hard to see if they are here. Yeah, they've been moved, so that I can't see them from the- from the ledge here. Oh, I do need the edgeless safety cube though, uh, hmm. Well, I'm just gonna have to leave this point in here, and I need the... The companion cube as well? Oh, how am I gonna do this? Um... Okay, that should be... roughly straight enough. It kinda looks like it's not straight, but... That's a weird illusion, it's because of the... anti-aliasing, like, it looks like... the lines don't line up or something? I don't know, something about this doesn't look straight, but I'm pretty sure it's straight enough. Right, so. Let's get the edge of the safety cube back to me. I mean, to the funnel, there we go. Then we can hop down here. And do this. Uh-huh. And then we can take this into the room with the optional companion cube. Which in this- in this case is actually not optional at all, it's completely mandatory. So we'll call it the mandatory companion cube instead, how about that? There we go, mandatory companion cube through. Then we put this here. We put... this guy, make sure he's facing the right way. And... perfect. Put him in here. And... Right, I think at this point we just need to do this... ...and... ...that. Oh, come on now. There we go. Awesome, so I really do like the puzzle. The map design's a bit weird, but, uh, yeah, the puzzle's good. I do like it, because there's- there's several parts in here where I was kinda stuck, like, wait, what do I do next? Uh, none of it was particularly too hard, but... Uh, I still like the individual pieces, and- and this- this nice little... Circular panoramic thing that's happening right now. This is courtesy of the Windows 10 Fall Creators update. This is just something that happens now in Valve games and in Source games, I guess. This is just a thing that happens. Whoop-de-doo. Alright. Well, that's been enough fun. 
Well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!